you made your house a reality. Homeschooling yourself on loans, color coding listings, and flushing every toilet in a 20 mile radius. If you can ace house hunting, you can do it for retirement. Get on track with tips at aceyourretirement.org. It takes a village to help somebody get their diploma. It changes your whole life. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Nothing to do this week? Don't miss another event. Go to blacksinsanantonio.com for our event calendar. The home of the largest business directory in San Antonio with an African American focus. Sign up today for our weekly e-blast and text message alerts. Help us make this a better community. Connect. Empower. Grow. Please join me as I host this year's Black Worship Clergy Hall of Fame Dinner, Monday, February 18th at the Antioch Sports Complex. Come experience an evening of fun, fellowship, and food as we induct Pastor Robert P. Forte Sr., pastor of the Mount Gilead Baptist Church, and Pastor Ray D. Brown pastor of the Resurrection Baptist Church. I look forward to seeing you there, Pastor Kevin pastor Nelson. Kevin Nelson. Be blessed. Be blessed. Because it matters to you, it matters to us. It is Black Video News with your host, Keith Scott. Black Friday Live. San Antonio. Here we go. I want to thank you all for tuning in to Black Friday Live. I'm your host, Keith Scott. You know where we're coming with hot topics and subject matter in the new year, always with a special guest. Now, joining me all the way from Montgomery, Alabama. Yes. From well, she was in the ATL. She in is, Detroit, she, in San Antonio, she, she's all over 13 the, cities. She's all over the place. Plant-based <laughs> nutritionist, Miss Renee Bemis. How we doing? Hello, Keith. It's always so good to be here with you. Well, I, you know, I'm so thankful I got an opportunity to get you because you're here in San Antonio. Yes. I know you're in Alabama now, you and your husband, and, yes. and you're all over. And I'm, you know, I'm just a follower. I'm oh, following you all you. over the country. Thank you. Thank you. Renee, for my viewers out there that don't know who Renee Beavers is, tell us a little bit about Renee Beavers. Um, my name is Renee M. Beavers. I am originally from Detroit, Michigan. Um, my husband was in the Air Force. So we lived in 13 different cities. Right now, today, we live in Montgomery, Alabama. We're here today to celebrate Urban Air's grand opening and to talk to Keith about what's going on with the lifestyle movement. I actually teach people how to have a better relationship with food, God, and themselves. Yeah, such a remarkable and awesome combination. Say that in combination again. I teach people how to have a better relationship with food, God, themselves, and others. Yes. That's good stuff. Yeah. Renee, you've been doing this for a long time, an yes. advocate for eating healthy, for exercising. Yes. And we were just talking about that with, you know, Urban Air North Park opening yes. up Ooh. where kids get to play and jump and yes. not be in front of the television yes. playing games and be active. And engaged and interacting with people, well. developing communication and physical touch, all those things that are necessary for healthy development. Yeah. Now let's talk about that because for viewers out there that are not familiar with the plant-based food, now Renee yes. can throw down too. <laughs> Now, I, you know, we, <laughs> you know, I'm from Detroit too, and you know, we like our soul and all yes, that other stuff and try to do. eat healthy. And yes. I have been trying to eat healthy. My wife is good at, uh, you know, making me eat healthy. Very good. But, um, 
you know, you, you've been on this mission with plant-based and eating yes. healthy. Tell my viewers a little bit about, you know, this plant-based. Um, well, you know, I, I feel like, I kind of feel like Noah. You know, I was asked to build something that didn't exist for something that was never seen. Yeah. And I'm talking to people about food and people are very passionate about food. We are. And so what I realized that talking to people about changing their relationship with food is really difficult. And so when we started this journey, I, I would say I started at 11 because I started dieting at 11 and then my grandparents were vegetarian. And so for me, this has been a lifelong mission. Anyone who knows me yeah. knows this is not something I just started doing. It's something yeah. I've been pursuing my whole life. Right. And so the lifestyle movement was really birthed out of my own difficulty and pain. And so the purpose is to really, not just to tell people eat right and exercise, but to show them what their issues are and then to help them to have some calls to action and a sense of community surrounding. That's what Freedom From Food does. It provides community for people. Yeah. So they can get connected with other people who are struggling with food addiction and cereal dieting and really just unpacking all the pain associated with our unhealthy relationship with yeah. food. And those are some real issues yes. because, you know, people sometimes try to eat themselves out of the pain. Yes, and, and it's not, it's not healthy. It's yeah. not healthy. And we see it. And, and, and people will say to me all the time, I'm an emotional eater, as if that's the answer. But yeah. that's really another question. You need to so, ask yourself so what is why. So what, what do they mean when they say that? So they just... I think they say that because that's what people have become so, accustomed to saying. Yeah, so it's go, going through these different emotions allows yes. you to go through these different exactly. eating habits. Exactly. And when people don't challenge you on that, it's like, okay, so you just answered another question. So then my next question is, well, do you know why you're an emotional eater? And then they just kind of look at me. And so I think that freedom from food is such a great opportunity for people to not learn how to lose weight, but to understand why they gained weight and to understand why the space in your heart that you're trying to fill with food and sex and drugs and career and all these things can only be filled with God. And when yeah. we put God in that space, the other things have a proper place, which means it get kind of crowded out. Yeah, and I wanted you to talk about that just real, you know, touch on that with God and how you incorporate it with, you know, God mm -hmm. and the scriptures and lifestyle. Yeah. And it really truly is a lifestyle. It is. It is. Because I think a part of what I realized when people say, well, what do you do? Are you a vegan or you're a vegetarian? I said, no, I'm a biblically based, plant based consumer because the Bible makes it clear that if God created us, he has a plan for us. And if you look at the people who are the most successful, they were plant-based consumers. Daniel, when they were winning in, in battle, they were plant-based consumers. And so when we are at our best, at our most optimal health, it's when we're eating foods the way God designed them right. within a certain amount of time period. Because yeah. your body fasts every night. God did that instinctively because he knew we needed that time for our bodies to rest and repair and heal. Yeah. And you can't do that if you're eating at 12 o'clock at night. When your body should be sleeping and yeah. so a part of it is teaching people that god was not god doesn't just care about your money because i always tell people that fasting teaches you about food what tithing teaches you about money so right. if we would practice the principles that god has designed for us we'd have success in every area of our life and not just the ones where we apply the principles yeah that's good stuff now i know you were here too and you just you <clears throat> Excuse me, you got a bunch of great things going on, yeah. but you just with the wire. Yes, jump? we just signed a contract to lease space from the Y. We're going to be teaching freedom from food as a workshop in the YMCA in Montgomery. Right. Our goal, our desire is to be all over the world. Okay. But right now we're going to start with Montgomery. And so that was a great accomplishment. Yeah, that's good stuff. And then you got a couple of books too. When we talk about the plant base, yes. I've had some of her cookies. I've had some of her, what, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, yams, yeah. tofu. Yeah, yeah, I really, and it, it was really delicious. Yes, because people won't eat what they don't like. And I think when people have this mindset, I'm just going to eat it for nutrition. That's not realistic. God created us to have an appetite. He created us to have desires and he doesn't want them to just be dismissed or misplaced, but they, you should satisfy. You should eat your food that you enjoy. And so that's my thing is I don't want to tell people just eat just for nutrition. You have to enjoy it. And yeah. it should be with people at a table and, you know, just enjoying it. It should be something we enjoy doing. Yeah, you use some really unique seasonings, too, with yes. your food. I use lots of herbs and spices. Um, mm -hmm. Montreal steak seasoning is one of my favorite seasonings. Right. You can use that. Um, Turmeric, oregano, just you, going back to using the things that your grandmother used. Yeah. Because she had the time to do that. Right. So what's what's happening in the new year, 2019? What you got uh, going on well, before we, we wrap we up? we launch on March the 4th <coughs> um, in Montgomery. We'll launch our first six-week small group at the YMCA. Okay. Go to our website if they want to sign up at ReneeMBeavers.com. Um, follow us on social media on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and YouTube so you'll know what's going on. 
I'm available for women's conferences, workshops, seminars. Um, you can go to my website. There's a space, it's called, it's called Book Renee. I would love to be a part of your community, a part of your journey, because we really need to begin to take responsibility for our health and stop putting the blame on our genetics and our culture and the media, because it's our choice to make. Renee, I want to thank you. You know, I know, <clears throat> excuse me, I know this wasn't, you, you weren't planning to be on Black Friday Live. <laughs> Here in San Antonio. Oh, thank you so much. You and Gil, your husband, man, you guys keep up the great work. Thank and you. don't stop being an advocate for eating healthy. Yes. And there's no telling where you're going to be at in 2019. Yes, but maybe excited. we can Skype or do something okay, keep up with that. Renee Beavers. We'll we'll you know, because Renee Beavers is all over the country. Thank Make you. sure, man, you look her up. Do your research on Renee Beavers. She is really making an impact. That's what thank this you. show is all about. If you're making an impact in your industry, you're making an impact in the community. Man, send me an email, please. K Scott at blackvideonews.com. Let's get you on the set. Get you on the set. We could talk about the impact. Renee, thank you so thank much. You, Keith. Be sure to tell thank Gil you. and man all the blessings in the new we year 2019. Thank you. No telling where I'm going to see you. Renee Beavers, thank, thank you. you. Plant based nutritionist right here on Black Friday Live. I'm your host, Keith Scott. We'll see you next time right here on Black Friday Live. <laughs> As always, be encouraged, folks.